Welcome back guys, it's John with another episode of LA's Real Estate Talk. Today, I'm excited to dive into the cost of living in the media capital of the world, Burbank, California. Before I start in today's topic, let's catch up on what's happening in Burbank right now. During this week, Walt Disney CEO reaches out to striking Hollywood creatives with deepest respect. And Bob Iger says that the Burbank company will cut 7,000 jobs due to continuous loss of money. And Burbank's beloved Pickwick Bowl announces to close after 60 years of business to make way for a major project of 92 residential townhomes. Since I started recording this video, it has been widely anticipated that California gas prices will soar to their highest this year. This is as we approach Labor Day. But putting aside all the latest news, let me share with you about what's going to cost to live in a city with more than a thousand entertainment companies, the city of Burbank. But first, let me put it all into perspective for you. Cost of living. I recently discussed this with another agent during an open house I hosted. Well, while we were talking, we both shared our thoughts about how people leave California to live in other states. Some of the feedback from some of the people that left the state was unsatisfactory. And I'm not going to say that it's a good or bad thing to leave California, but I know from personal experience traveling across different states that California, especially Los Angeles, is very different by its weather, many family-oriented neighborhoods with character homes, schools with elite education, engineered roads, countless entertainment, and so much more. Even though it offers so much, it also comes with a cost of living wherever you go, whether it's moving to another neighborhood in the area, to another area within the state, or to another state. There's a price to pay to live there always be prepared for that. Burbank is located in the eastern part of San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles County, neighboring the city of Glendale. It's also in the foothills of Verdugo Mountains. Burbank is the 14th largest city in Los Angeles County. According to the Nielsen Company, the city is populated by over 105,000 people. This was all due to one man in 1821 named Dr. David Burbank, who acquired 9,200 acres for less than a dollar per acre at that time. He raised wheat and sheep and built a ranch house on what is now considered Warner Brothers' backlot. Today, it is known to be the media capital of the world with more than a thousand media and entertainment companies such as Walt Disney Studios, Warner Brothers, Cartoon Network, Netflix, and Nickelodeon. The average household income is approximately 125,000 and most Burbank residents are college educated. What's interesting to me about the city is that there are over 250,000 people during the daytime and that's because of tourism. The city attracts a fair amount of tourism. The Hollywood Burbank Airport is located nearby serving 11 airline carriers offering 33 US and Canadian destinations. To validate tourism further, there are 18 hotels with 2,562 rooms. If you're interested in learning more about Burbank and its neighborhoods, I'll have a link in the description below to the city's relocation guide. If you desire to live in Burbank, this relocation guide is specifically designed by me to provide you with more information about the area. By the way, the other day I was walking and I came across something that stuck out like a sore thumb called the like button. I was told that if you clicked on it, which is found right below the screen and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate you doing that. I'm always open and looking out for your comments. Feel free to write your thoughts and let me know what you think. You can always connect with me by sending me an email or following me on my social platforms. They can be found below by clicking the links. Now let's take a look at the categories that affect our cost of living. In this financial adventure, we're covering six major categories. Housing, which is where majority of our expenses are spent, nearly 50 to 70%. This depends on the total amount spent. Then we have utilities, food, transportation, healthcare, and communication. To live, you need these essentials. These are the pillars of living in Burbank. It's like having four walls of your house. You have your roof to keep you dry, the walls to keep you safe and secure, the floor to keep you from falling, and the foundation to hold it all together. Let's explore what each costs. According to the MLS in the past six months, as of today, if you're going to be renting, depending on the square footage and the quality, you can expect to rent in the range anywhere from $1950 to $4,900 per month for a one bedroom apartment, condo, or townhome. And for a single family house, 
rent can range anywhere from $2,200 to $7,000 per month for a two bedroom. However, if you're considering buying or investing, let me break it down further. A one bedroom condo or townhouse in Burbank with the current affordability and interest rates can range anywhere from $3,430 to $5,214 per month. That's the range for condos from $425,000 to $679,950. And these include principal, interest, taxes and insurance, and homeowners association fees. Keep in mind, interest rates have risen in the past year, and we're at an average rate of 7.68%. This is one of the primary factors in computing monthly housing costs. And if a two-bedroom single-family house is your dream, let's discuss that also. Prices vary depending on location, size, and quality. However, on the lower end of these prices currently range from $700,000 to $1,735,000 on sold properties in the last six months. Translating that into monthly payments, they range from $4,900 to $11,853. Monthly payments also include PITI. Utilities may not be the most glamorous category, but they sure get the job done. After all, without them, we'd all be living in the dark, eating cold food, and swimming in our own trash. The city of Burbank services water and power. Prices for residents can vary based on usage. The average monthly cost for water and power is about $211. According to the latest from the Federal Reserve economic data, the average gas per therm, aka thermal units, has declined considerably in June to 1.716 per therm usage. If we assume the same levels of usage for August is true, then the charge from SoCal gas amounts to 58.283 cents per therm. That amounts to an average $100 cost for August. Expect gas prices to fluctuate month over month whether you rent or you own. Whether you're a budget eater or a fine dining enthusiast, I've got the goods. Here in Burbank, there are a variety of grocery stores to choose from, from major chains to localized to mom and pop grocery stores, and prices vary from one store to another. However, grocery prices in Burbank will be slightly higher than the average price in the US. You could expect to spend around $900 per month for a family of four. For single people, it should cost around $450 per month. However, if you dine out and spend at a restaurant, it will cost about $25 with tax on the lower end. And I'm thinking about in and out on that one. However, Burbank also has some high-end restaurants that cost on average at about $150 to $250. If you're looking for a romantic dining experience, you have to go check out Castaway. Depending on your budget and where you spend, prices will vary. Currently, the average gas price here in Burbank is around $6 per gallon at a regular pump. On the conservative side, if you work in Burbank or from home, that's very positive news. However, if you commute to downtown LA for work, which is about 11 miles away from Burbank, it will cost you an average $65 to $85 to fill up your tank once per week. Obviously, there are other cost-effective options for getting around town, but Burbank also offers the Burbank bus service for local transportation. A cash fare for regular routes costs a dollar. Also, Los Angeles provides transportation services as well, from bus to metro rail station. A regular trip costs $1.75, but for students, it's free. There are plenty of options to getting around town, but if you're driving, your monthly cost will be on average $350 per month for gas. And finally, auto insurance. It's difficult to determine what the average person drives because you'll find a variety of vehicles and your policy could vary based on what type of vehicle you drive. However, auto insurance in Burbank is slightly going to be higher than the typical California insurance rate. You could expect to pay a monthly premium for full coverage for an average cost of $300. To live life to the fullest, you have to have good health coverage. Let me shine a spotlight on the average cost of health insurance for a family of four in Burbank, making sure you're prepared for any unexpected turns. Healthcare is a big part of our lives and it's critical to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. This in theory would make health insurance cost less. If you're self-employed and pay for your own health coverage through California's health exchange, the average premium for an HMO plan is about $900 per month. However, it's worthwhile to note that choosing the right coverage for you and probably your entire family will enable you to save a lot of money. In this digital age, staying connected is a must. 
let me show you the cost of keeping your smartphone buzzing. I'm not trying to list all other expenses, but this is significant for us. The average cell phone bill costs on average $70 per month. Okay, so here's the bottom line. Let me break down the total cost of living for renters, condo owners, and townhouse owners, and those who wish to live in a single family house in Burbank. Remember, these are the biggest parts of our living expenses. Additional costs like childcare, education, and entertainment aren't in this calculation. I'm assuming you're a W-2 earner who goes on grocery runs, and the cost of going out and eating isn't in this calculation. If you're a W-2 earner, your health insurance is deducted from your paychecks. You're not buying it through the health exchange. If you're self-employed like I am, then you could add your health insurance cost to these average amounts I'm about to reveal. After adding up the minimum expense for an individual that wants to rent a one bedroom apartment, condo or townhome, we're looking at a monthly expense of 3,284 and a max is looking to be about 6,329. Out of pocket, this is what it will cost. Now, if you purchase a condo, expect to pay $4,302 to $7,545. Again, reminding you that this is the bare minimum cost of living to your own desired condo in Burbank. However, if you go with purchasing a single family house, you'll need to pay a minimum monthly payment of $5,660 to a maximum of $19,679. Even though this is on the lower end of how someone spends, it's also highly possible that a single family house homeowner would go above these amounts. Remember, if you have no choice but to purchase in this market, the good news is that when interest rates come back down, you'll pay much less for housing costs by refinancing at that time. Housing costs are the biggest cost of living item. It amounts roughly to about 50 to 70% of our expenses, which is huge. Before signing off, I have a special treat for you. If you're itching to learn more about Burbank, where your new home will be, Check out the link below for a customized relocation guide. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe to your regular dose of real estate and cost of living insights. Thanks for tuning in to LA's Real Estate Talk where I unpack the world of real estate and the true cost of living right here in Burbank. This is John and see you again next Monday.